morning. It's day again. I've survived. I'm packing up. And I'm going back to find that camping. I thought about walking on, but it's another 10 kilometers and I have hardly any water left. I just don't think it's wise. I'm ready to go, but look at this. It's not your song to sing no more. Goodbye, blame. How pretty is that? I'm fairly stiff today. Those steps yesterday were all a little bit big for comfort. So especially with the backpack, you bash into your knees and your upper legs. Well, I sure feel it. quite a long road. No wonder I was knackered. I did this at the end of the day in a hurry because I was afraid it was going to get dark and there's nowhere to camp here. Well, back to the little beach. If I understand it well, I've seen the building where the camping is, but it all looked so abandoned. So, Somehow I had it in my head that the camping was away from the beach. So I simply moved on. Can you feel the wind? Say you do, it's how it all begins, then comes reason, then purpose. It is lovely here, I have to say. You will find your way. There's absolutely nobody here. Bless you with how we learn. It has to hurt, it has to hurt. Every single turn, don't beg your pardon. You're not someone's victim. It has to hurt, it has to hurt. Well, there was somebody coming out, so I was right last night, there was probably nobody there. He sold me some water and said that the walk is four hours from here to the next destination. So, hmm, or I can phone the next camping and ask them if they want to pick me up, but that's a long distance. And it's going to be expensive. I don't know what to do. It's how we learn. It has to hurt. It has to hurt. Every single turn. Don't beg your pardon. You're not someone's victim. Okay. So I found the camping. Somebody's coming to pick me up. It's just... Safety first. So I think a relaxed day, wash my clothes, have a shower, eat well, and I'll be fine again. It was kind of funny though, in the night, at least two times, there were a ton of piggies around. They had to be piggies. You could hear the snorting and the sort of clattering of hoofs on, uh, on the stones. And at some point, they were so close to the tent that I could hear the <laughs> of them sniffing around the tent and thinking, what the hell is this? But they eat everything. 
I was scared that they might chew my tent. So I just did, <coughs> and they were all flying off. It was kind of funny. Not scary, but funny. At some point there was something else trotting around the tent, but I couldn't hear it walk. So it must have been a dog or a big cat or something. Don't know. It made a sort of a growling noise, but I couldn't hear it walk, so don't know. But I felt pretty safe. I'm amazed. It's the first time I do something like that on my own, and yeah, the exp that experience was good. Not scary at all. camping and it looks great that's where I'm gonna put up my tent and it's got all these old things here I have to walk around and look at it much closer later on but there's a terrace and a place that is totally mine just a room for guests look at that Fantastic. This carpet is from this area, he said. There's a kitchen, totally open for use for the customers. So I'm making myself some coffee. I met the boys with the doggies. The doggies are tired. It's been a long day. We're going to have our meal together. That's nice. So nice to meet them. So I've seen many pictures of them walking. Change of plan again packed up and I'm walking with the two gentlemen and the dogs. New adventures. And that's how you deal with a Kangal that comes your way. Not too much. No panic. Yes. Just a friendly word and a and a few treats. On the right way. Yeah. Poor thing has babies, go ahead, go ahead. so she will be always hungry. Doggy distracted, the rest on the lead, and off we go. Wow, perfect. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, this is where we're going to set up camp. Not bad, huh?